Hey guys, welcome back to another review Starlight video. Um, so there has been a new, like I think it was actually quite a ninja update. I did not even see it coming. I mean, I, I do not follow the news, but there was nothing pointing towards the release of the new stage of dreams. So I played for it, played with it for quite a bit, and I'm currently at the 37th floor. Um, this is currently my two lineups. Uh, basically these are the four of my best characters. Initially, okay, this is on my first reset, so you can see that I still have like a bit of time left. Uh, initially, I tried chucking all four of my characters in the same team, and what happened is that my characters didn't get enough turn to brilliance each, eh, brilliance themselves up, so it was just like a mess. There wasn't enough skills going around. The characters that I needed to get the brilliance did not get the brilliance, and like within the first 10 floors, my team started dying. So after the reset, I've been climbing much better, much more steadily, and that's due to the tweaks that I've made. So right now, I've just separated my teams into two. Uh, I mean, my, my main team into two. So the first team is, as you can see, um, Yachiyo and Michiru. So what's so great about this team is that uh, basically Yachiyo would be able to use all her skills. Okay, at most of her skills, okay, but most of the time she gets to use, okay, 50% of the time she gets to use all her skills, um, and the other 50% of the time she gets to use two of her skills, which is not too bad because I can still use Michiru to uh, cast a shield. Okay, so what's so great about this strategy is that I will show you. What's so great about this strategy is that, um, as you can see, right off the bat, I, oh my goodness, they have evades. Look at all the evades. That's crazy. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh man. Gonna waste one whole turn. Okay. So, right off the bat, you can see that I have more flexibility with my skills. I'm able to use more of Yachiyo's skills at the same time. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, there's no conflict with other characters. Okay, let me think, let me think. Oh, okay, so stages with evades are really my worst nightmare. It should be everyone's worst nightmare to be honest because firstly, you're not going to be able to kill them on one turn and secondly, that means that you're going to get hit. And in this content, I'm not sure whether you're aware but if you get hit, you do not get unhit. So you do not get healed at the end of the battle. Uh, so yeah, stages with evasion that is a real problem see I'm gonna spend this whole team I mean this entire turn just to remove all the evades on that that crystal yeah look at that that's terrible okay so another thing to note is uh, you best want to climax one at a time so you do not want to have like let's say you're running two for some reason you're running two nukes okay two nukes on the same team like Musketeer Juna and Yajio, you do not want them to have their brilliance stacked at the same time because what happens is that you pretty much only need to use one climax act to clear the whole field and having two is just excessive I mean of course unless you are at a higher stage in this game where uh, the enemies require more than one climax act to, to kill but in most cases, what I've seen is a single Climax Act is enough to sweep the whole field. But I'm not going to do it right now because I need to conserve a bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting for the for the right time to use my ult. Um, it's very important because... Especially for stages with like 5 enemies, you would want to sweep them completely. Because you're not going to be able to kill all of them on the first turn otherwise. So yeah, do take note of that. Um, is this one such team? Alright, yes. Okay, so this is a team of 5. Right off the bat, I can just climax, kill everyone. So as you can see, I'm not going to stack any any um, outs, right? Because I, I make sure to, to have only one character on climax at the same time. There we go. Done. Easy, easy. So yeah, that's my... I guess that's, that's like actually the biggest takeaway that I have for you guys is to separate your outs. And also, um, if you okay, I'm gonna show you after this round is done. If you realized, uh, oh, why is 
Oh man, this is so difficult. Um, okay, if you realized, th there is a new content-based pr uh, memoir. Okay, it's not really content-based, but you can only get it from this content, which is... I will show you in a bit. Hold on, I need to focus. I need to focus. Alright, nice. Ooh, 8,000. Okay, so... There is a memoir that is only limited to this content. Yeah, the word is limited. I was looking for it. And what it does... Oh, what's happening? What's happening? I am connected though. Can I... Okay, good. Yeah, so this is Starry Sky After the Rain. What it does is recover 400 HP for 3 turns and 600 normal barrier for 3 turns as well. Um... At first, I thought this print would be really awesome for this content because you you don't really have much uh, options, right, to heal. I mean, are you gonna bring in a specific healer? What's her, what's her name? Shiori or something? Um, she's like the only healer that I've seen so far, but honestly, her heal isn't even that impressive. It's not even worth putting in your team because it would make a lot more sense to replace her with a DPS instead because you want to kill them, kill the enemies as fast as possible, not not. To waste like an entire act just to heal your your ally only so that the enemy can hit you again. So I thought this memoir would be good because you do not need a healer, you do not need a dedicated healer. Plus, I also assume that on the first turn, because it's at the start, I will recover 400 HP. But this is not the case, because as you can see, my Michiru is not healing up at all. So as I'm gonna show you to prove it to you here. Boom, see she does not get healed. And there's still three, see the green thing up there? There's still three timers on it, which means, yeah, it did not do anything. It did not prop for now. Um, but, 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 but on the next turn, it will prop. But then again, you know, I do not want to have to take, see, I'm already taking like 700 damage from one turn. So that 400 HP is really not much. Um, instead, instead, what I think would be a better print for your tank would be evades. Um, in fact, what I think would be the best. Okay, I'm just gonna say like, like it's not the best. Okay, it's just it's just my opinion. But what I think is the best memoirs for this content is evade, because whenever you start a new round, you lose all your buffs. Okay, like let's say if you use your shield and stuff like you lose all your buffs. However, evades they proc at the start of every turn which means that they will always be perpetually on your team okay so like for example this team of mine no wait am i doing it no i'm not doing it ah damn snap okay so this i'm not doing it on this team that's weird i thought i was doing it okay so like for example evade one hit this is gonna be really good really really awesome for um, let's say your tank. Okay, I do not have Eevee on my tank because I was testing out this memoir, but I'm gonna replace it tomorrow. The Eevee though, it just keeps replenishing itself, so it's gonna be really useful. Oh man, wait, wait, wait. They have Eevee! Oh snap, okay, 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 wait, this sucks. I have no choice, I have to use this. Um, mm, wow, this is, this is really stressful for me. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. RIP. What was I saying? Oh yeah, evade is gonna be really useful because you are guaranteed to block. To completely negate uh, a single hit. Which would be more more useful in the long run, I, I would assume. I need that, I need that, I need this. It's gonna be more useful in an average. And an, an average enemy lineup is gonna be more useful. Okay, one, one, one. One thing to note is the enemies only have two AP attacks, so you can strategize around knowing this fact. Okay, so for tanks, yeah, like I said many many times already, what I recommend is evade. Um, fortify not so much. Fortitude, I mean, fortitude not so much. It's it's ridiculous. Fortitude is not it's not important at all for this content. Uh, because if you're gonna die, then you're just gonna like survive one more hit, which doesn't make sense. Rather, evade makes sure that you survive in the first place. And for your DPS, what I would 
prefer would be Brilliance, alright? Because every time you enter a new fight, you're gonna charge your team up automatically. Um, yeah, I think that would do it. Right, so that would be like my number one priority for DPS characters. Just give them Brilliance. So every single time that they enter a new fight, they, even if they do not use their skills, they would at least have something that's improving for them. And of course, other important buffs from your memoirs are barriers, because of course barriers. Let me think, let me think. No. Okay, barriers are going to be useful, but the problem with barriers is that the enemies have both uh, special and... Oh, rip. They have both special and... Okay, but it, it's not a bad thing that my Michiru died. Okay, as I was saying, they have both special and normal damage, so barriers may not be that useful because it's only a 50% chance. Rather, evade is like definite. So if you have prints with um, evade and barriers, yeah, that, those are really good on your tanks. Okay, but the, the, the good thing about losing your tank is that right now your DPS is standing alone, which means your DPS has 3 1 AP attacks, which means you could essentially uh, clear the entire fight with just your DPS without even getting hit. Actually, you know what? Can I see the lineup? I can't see the lineup that, they are, that I'm facing, right? Oh, enemy details. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, big, rele <laughs> big revelation here. You can actually see the enemies that you're facing. Just click enemy details. First stage is a five-man team. I'm not sure whether they have evade, though. Uh, I... I, I hope not. Okay, let's. I hope not. Please, please be kind. Please be kind. Okay, good. They do not have evade, which means that they are screwed, and they have normal defense, which means that they are extremely screwed. Yeah, the good thing about having just your DPS is full flexibility. Every skill panel is gonna be your DPS, and let's say you're facing a two enemy comp. With just two single 1 AP skills, or maybe even one, depending on where you are, you could kill off the first target in just one hit. And what that means is that before the enemy can even move, you could even kill two targets. Okay, so like for example in this case, uh, 1, 1, 1, and 2. Uh, the good thing is the enemy's attacks are 2 AP, right? So if I manage to kill the first enemy, and for some reason, there you go, for some reason, um, their lineup is just completely their first character, their first, you, you know what I mean? Then removing them would completely prevent the enemy from attacking further. Alright, <laughs> I know that was, that was like a train wreck of an explanation, but yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys understand. Okay, so now boss fight, I'm not going to use my Yachio because she's, she's not going to do anything for this. Uh, rather, I will switch to my, to my boss fight team, which is this. And of course, like I said, you're supposed. I mean, I would, I would, I would suggest that you spread out your climax, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, they both have like brilliance equipped at, at start brilliance, so <laughs> my Ichi just like naturally maxes herself out. So there you go. For boss fights, uh, it's better if you have one team that specializes in single target damage which is banana or maybe even uh who's that blue days pierce hikari musketeer hikari they will be quite useful in clearing boss fights because you, ju you just want to get them get rid of the boss immediately on the first time okay so for every fifth stage that you beat you will actually pick up a lot of resources like you see i have 200k coins from this and a rainbow uh, what's that skill panel piece that would be otherwise impossible to obtain? Yeah, impossible to obtain. I think you can only get those from events, from special event. Okay. Uh, right now I know it, I shouldn't be using this team, but I I just want to like charge up my my banana again so that. Hey, wait, hold on. Ooh, tasty. See that? Um. No, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, I just want to like charge banana up. Nice. So that I can get her prepared for the 
next boss fight. But I'm suffering a lot of damage though because Ichi is not it's not reliable at all. She can I mean she is a bit tanky because she has balanced stats, but she's not gonna be able to carry banana very far. Okay. Damn. Alright, means I need to get rid of the first target and then hopefully this gets rid of the first target and then this can like hit the two back row enemies. Yes, this is done. Sweet. Oh no. Oh so that one's a middle. <laughs> the middle guy was a middle row thing thingy. Uh, you see the problem now is if I just do this because I, I do not want to charge up my Ichi. If I do this, I'm not sure whether I can heal the enemy. I'll be risking extra damage. Yeah, crap. Bad move. Alright. It's okay. Okay, at least I got my banana charge up so I can actually use her for the next boss fight. The bosses are just slightly tankier. But then again, like I said, you do not want to have to endure any damage at all. So the best is just to just to snipe them completely. Okay, so like I said, hopefully the enemy chooses their first guy, their first guy here to attack. Because if they do, then by the simple act of me clearing the first guy, I will not take any hits at all. Oh, okay, but you see, that's a good thing about having evade on my character. I was able to avoid two complete attacks which would otherwise probably drop me to 50% HP. Probably. So yeah, um, that's all that I have for you guys. That's like This is like the general idea of how I'm currently at stage 42, right? Okay, I'm 42 now. And I'm still climbing. Okay, you know what? In fact, I will not I will not just end the video off here. I will do a time skip and I'll show you where I end off in like right now. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so my Yachi Yo was actually able to carry me through another five more floors entirely on her own. Um that's amazing. That's because of course she can abuse her single AP skills, so she can just keep hitting more frequently. However, now the, the enemies are a little bit tougher, so she takes like 4 hits to kill uh, one target. And the only reason why she is able to survive so long is because she has the evade, the, the 2 stacks of evade on her. So evade really matters a lot, especially if you're going to be playing this content. Um, very important, keep that in mind, evade is really important. This is how I feel so far. Uh, evade has been the get go- I mean, it has been the it has been really really helpful for me, okay? So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you found it informative. I uh, hope you learned something. Maybe you could avoid making mistakes that probably I've made before, which is like running a full team of your entirely best characters. Uh, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, but, but right now, I'm kind of screwed. Banana is not going to be able to handle anything on her own. Uh, she lacks a lot of AoE. Yep, she lacks a lot of AoE. But okay, this I still can handle because watch. One sh oh, I didn't one shot. Okay, so Banana cannot do this on her own. Uh, major rip. So I guess I lose here? Am I dead? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. But I'm gonna end. If I do this, I have to take a hit. Alright, let's just give it a shot. Oh, yes, I didn't die. Nice. Boom. And I'm dead. Alright. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, I actually rose more than I rose twenty one floors from the time that I reset. So that's because I made some changes in my team. And uh, honestly, climbing another twenty one floors makes uh, is a, is a is a much bigger difference than starting off at twenty seven. Uh, I mean, yeah, finishing off at twenty seven first. I actually ended at twenty seven on my first run, but now I rose another twenty one, which I think is a bigger achievement. So yeah, ah. Uh, Great, that's the end of my video. If you liked it, uh, leave a thumbs up. And if you have not, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.